Caribou hunting, for some a dream, for others a quest, but for all, from the caribou themselves to the majestic landscapes of the hunting grounds, it's truly a hunting adventure of a lifetime. Most of us have a bucket list of things we would like to check off before we die, and most of us cut our teeth on whitetail hunting because that's what we have in our backyard. But if we had our choice and we had our dream, usually elk is on there, maybe a bear hunt is on there, maybe a mule deer hunt or an antelope hunt, but somewhere on that list, I can almost guarantee you, will be a caribou hunt. What's really neat, even though the caribou are all built the same with their shovel and their bezes and their tops, the configurations of these horns gets really crazy. Some bulls have all nothing but points on the top. Some bulls have all the mass down in their bezes. Some bulls have double shovel. It's a neat trophy. You can have three or four of them in your trophy room. Try to find one with all tops, with big bezes, with big fronts. If you find one that has everything, you're looking at the record book. What I like about hunting caribou is mainly the country. I just, it's so different from where I live and the colors up here, the, the ruggedness, the harshness, and when a caribou steps out in this stuff, it's just, they're amazing. They're such a beautiful animal. It's just so majestic. It just, it grows on you. There's a certain flavor about a wilderness hunt and, uh, and that, that is, to me, is, uh, adds something really special to it because your, your hunt is unmolested. The, the countryside is yours. Um, it becomes your experience only and, and no one else's. And, and there's times when you hunt, you really got to have that. So. The, the wilderness thing, the remoteness is uh, not, doesn't always have to come into play, but when it does, you really enjoy this time. You could be 80, you could be 18. When you see that there, you'll never forget it and you'll never get tired of seeing it. They're not as big as you think they are. That long flowing white mane, but let me talk about horns and horn configurations. You see an animal basically the size of a mule deer with horns two and three feet long and five feet wide and four feet tall. Normally when you get out and hunt them, you're seeing a lot of game. It's a good spot and stock type of animal, but you want to talk about some really a lot of fun with the family. Caribou hunting is a truly a must.